Hello ducklings and chicks. We're going to do an RE lesson now. And I have Sam and I have Sally here to help me. I know in the ducklings you have Tom and Tessa, don't you? But I've got Sam and Sally with me today at my house. And they teach us all about what it means to be a Christian. Because they're Christians, aren't they? Do you remember what being a Christian means? See if you can tell you're grown up. Being a Christian means that Sam and Sally go to church. They actually go to Budok Church, don't you? Across the road from our school. And at church, they learn stories all about God and Jesus. And they believe do you remember that God made the whole world? And they love to go to church to say thank you to God by singing songs and by saying prayers. And sometimes they read in a special book called the Bible. We had a look at that, didn't we? And sometimes we read special stories from the Bible too. Now, we like to have a look inside Tom and Tessa's box, don't we? Because each week there's something different inside their box. Should we see what's in there today? Let's have a look. I'll show you Sam and Sally. Let's have a look inside. So inside their box today. blindfold. Hmm, I wonder why they have a blindfold in their box. Now next I would like you to have a listen to a story and then we can find out why they have this blindfold in their box and you should be able to watch this story on YouTube and I've put the link on Tapestry on our home learning grid or you can go onto our reception YouTube channel and it will be there for you to watch. So have a listen with your grown up and then I will see you in a minute and we can chat about why you think there's a blindfold in Sam and Sally's box. I'll speak to you in a minute. Bye. Hello again. Did you watch the story? Yeah. Great. So the story was about a man who was blind. That means he couldn't see anything. That's why Sam and Sally had the blindfold in their box. Because when you wear a blindfold, you can't see anything. See, when I put it on, I can't see anything at all. And that's a little bit what it's like to be blind. Now in the story, Jesus helped the man who was blind. He touched his eyes, he was called Peter. He touched his eyes and then he could see again. He wasn't blind anymore. And do you remember we've been talking about miracles Miracles are amazing, fantastic things that Jesus did. <clears throat> because doctors can't do that, can they? Doctors can't just touch somebody's eye or eyes that are blind and make them see. Doctors need lots of special things to help somebody get better. Just like they might need medicine to help somebody get better. Or they might need things like ooh, lots of different equipment like a stethoscope so that they can listen to people's hearts and lungs. They might need special machines like blood pressure monitors. All sorts of things that doctors need to help people get better. They can't just touch people's eyes. And, and make them all better so they can see again. But Jesus could. He didn't need any of those things. He just touched Peter's eyes and he could see. 
And that's because Jesus was the son of God. So he was very special. And because he was special, people trusted Jesus. And we're going to have a go at playing a game about trust. So Sam and Sally have been playing this game at church. And you need a blindfold for this game. If you haven't got blindfold, you could use some material or a scarf is a good idea. And you need a partner. So Sam and Sally are partners. Your partner could be your brother or your sister or your mum or dad or whoever's looking after you today. Now, one of you needs to wear the blindfold. So we could put it on Sam. It can be his turn first. And one of you needs to be the person that tells the person with the blindfold on where to go. So Sally can tell Sam where to go. So Sam is going to have a go at walking around the house, but because he's got a blindfold on, he might bump into things. So Sally has to tell him whether to go left or right or forwards or backwards or whether he needs to stop. And Sam has to trust Sally that she will tell him where to go. And then when they've had a turn, they can swap over so Sally can wear the blindfold, like this. And then Sam can tell Sally where to go and how to get around the house. So you have a go at playing that game with your partner and then you can have a little think afterwards. Did you trust your partner? And did you feel safe? So you can have a little think about those things after you've played the game. Have a, a good time, have fun. And we will see you next week, won't we Sam and Sally, for our next RE lesson. Bye.